Can I talk to him? Oh, hey, I can. Just click on him. Oh, hey there, kiddo. How is this going? Looks like you got to your a sturdy vessel there. I've got some old items lying around, which I thought you might like. Your might, I like it. See if any of it is to your liking. Oh my gosh. Raw fish? I don't know. Oh, it's starting. Okay. <laughs> Tiny bookshop. All right, let's check. <laughs> let's check this out. Uh, yes, another cozy game. Um, but can you blame me? These are really, really fun. Uh, Tiny bookshop. I guess you take control of a tiny bookshop being pulled by a little tiny car next to a tiny little bench <laughs> let's, let's see um settings eh, let's just start game i love the art style on this i love all the art styles on all the games all the games i play <laughs> nice little watercolor i packed up my things leaving everything else behind with my tiny bookshop <laughs> for a quiet life by the sea. Nice. Yeah, I do like the color palette on here. It's very, very cozy. Tiny bookshop. <laughs> Waterfront Square, Monday. Summer. Summer the first. It's summer the first, everybody. Oh, yeah, I'm already. I'm already kind of. Oh. What? Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, can I clip on the pup? Oh. Ruff ruff? Oh, you can kind of pet the puppy. <laughs> That's adorable. Hey, the tongue is sticking out. <laughs> I'm just making hearts. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, don't click away. Just keep clicking on the dog. Oh my gosh. I can't stop. <laughs> oh my god. I can't see the dog. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Getting distracted here. Oh, seagull. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, there's some birds up here too. Oh, they don't make noise. They just feather. I know it's like telling me to click over here, but I'm like way over here doing stuff. Okay. Alright. Um let's get it. Oh, I love the lighthouse in the back too. Can I click on that? Does that do anything? No. Alright. Let's click where and where it tells me to actually click. This moves really fast when you click and click and drag. It's like zoom, zoom. All right, all right. Click, click, and click. All right. So let's open a window, open a window, and open a door. All right. Hey, how's it going? Are you just walking into my bookstore? I didn't even <laughs> do anything yet. Tildy. My, my, what a sight. You must be the new bookseller. I've heard... Oh, she's kind of older. You must... <laughs> I've heard so much about you. What? How? Like, what? Who are you? What? How? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I have my sources. Anyways. She's a Karen. <laughs> she's a... She's a elderly Karen. Um, welcome... Welcome to our quaint little town. I'm glad you decided to stop by. I thought you might need someone to show you the ropes around here. I'm Tildy. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement. Lovely to meet you. Let's see, you should know that us books... Bookstonians... <laughs> Are they from Bookstonia? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Have very particular taste in books. I, for example, prefer to read classic and crime novels, and not too much else. Mm -hmm. So why don't I have a look at your selection, and see if I can find something worthwhile? Oh, you go right ahead. Ooh, she found some crime. Bravo! You had the right book on hand! When a customer finds a book, they will keep looking for more. Alright. Find anything else? Oh, I hope I find some room for the strange case of Dr. Ooh. I went really fast. Classic. Sadly, you don't have any right... Oh, right book on offer. So no classics. We don't have any classics. Where's classics? It shows three right there. What's going on? It shows three. Classic, sale, chance, 32%. Scales with no number of stocked books. Plus 3% from Tildy. Huh. But it just says we have three. Weird. Even though you may have... Oh. I just keep reading. 
<laughs> even, even though you may have books of the right genre, whether people actually take one home depends on your sale chance. So there's a 32% sale chance. You can check your sale chance at any time by hovering over the genres on the right. Which I did, yes. 32%. Sale chance shows the odds that someone might find a book they like. Because the chance is based on how many books you have in your shop. Oh, interesting. So the more books, the better chance. It'll decrease as you run out of books throughout the day. Makes sense. Managing to sell the last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, you got any of them uh, flowering arrangement books? <laughs> well, there's lots of people coming in. Now, we can't actually go in the bookstore? I thought, I thought I saw we could actually go in the bookstore. This is a free demo, by the way. You can play this right now on Steam. It's very cute. Nice and cozy. Homage to Catalonia something or other. No class. Not enough classics, though. People want the classics. Oh, they found something. The Fellowship of the Ring. I do have that title. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. So we just sit here while they buy books? Are they, they're buying books. That's it. John and Summers. Round Lumberg with Brook and just what I need. Very cool. Um, hi there. Uh, you're the bookseller, right? I see you already talked to Tilly. Did she know everything about you already? Pretty much. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, <laughs> the way you winked when I said that. She does that. Uh, told me all about the review before I had even started my job there. Oh, um, I'm talking about the uh, Bookstonbury Review. It's a local paper. Yeah, I sort of write for them. My name is Fern Estrada. I'm glad to meet you, Fern. Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened here in a while. So you have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you now. I think he's all blushing. Um, how about you help me out by answering a few of my questions, and I'll give you a free subscription in return. I shouldn't have started doing that voice, because it's going to hurt my throat after a while. You might appreciate the events calendar, and people often sell used books in the classifieds. Alright, so um, for the record, what made you come to Bookstonbury? Not, not Bookstonia. <laughs> Bookstonia. <laughs> Uh, needed an escape, searching for where I belong. You could have just moved the rest of the words to the next line without hyphenating, but maybe they did it on purpose. Either way. Um, <laughs> needs an escape, searching for where I belong, and wanted an adventure. How about wanted an adventure? Oh wow, I kind of feel the same way. Hope it works out for you. Okay, and uh, what's your first impression of the town so far? Very uh, windy. Oh, I can see the flags, yes. A bit intimidating and friendly, I think. Hmm. Uh, it is friendly. Don't worry. Yeah, it really is. People might be a bit meddlesome, but they only have the best intentions. Thanks so much for the little interview. I really appreciate it. And I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by tomorrow morning. I'll have a look at your selection now, if you don't mind. <clears throat> yeah, see you around. It's a nice day, Fern, while in shop, plus 5% fact sale chance. Hmm. Wow, people are just... Oh, whoever this is, is really buying it up. Theodore L. Brown is the best. Is that him? There he goes. Hi, how you going? <laughs> hey, puppy. <laughs> She's, like, running out. They're kind of running. They're jogging. Jogging out. There we go. Click, click, click. Oh, so I guess that's it. that's it for the day. So let's close up shop. And... And that's it. That's... That's it. That's the whole game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Bookstonberry Review. Filled with articles, events, and items for sale. Thanks, Fern. The Bookstonberry Review reports on the goings-on around town. You can check today's and tomorrow's weather. And keep an eye out for upcoming events. Hmm. Here you can see the money in your pocket. It's always nice. And all the books you own, both in your shop and in storage. Oh, I know storage. Uh, looks like they're running a little low. Yeah, they're, you know, people were buying the heck out of my stuff. In the classified section, you can acquire used books to replenish your stock. Let's give it a try. Just click buy. 
All right. Um, let's see what we got here. What are we? What are we low on? What are we low on here? We got some seasonal stuff. I don't know what this is. Um, we got four books here. Basement bin bargain. Help these volumes find a new home. Dusty but good. Some oldies but goodies. Okay, so like we don't really know what we're getting. It looks like. Oh wait, no. So this is a fantasy. Fantastic fantasy. Fairy tales and fables in good condition. Self improvement awaits. Help these novels find a new home. Basement, bin, bargain, dusty. These, it seems like we don't even know what they are. This is zero dollars. <laughs> this is zero dollars. Those should... Oh, dang, we got like a bunch of books. Those should come in handy. Maintaining a good stock of books is an important part of any book selling adventure. Well, I would say so. Classified section will sometimes have other bits and bobs. Let's pick up this lonely cactus. Well, why not? It's zero dollars. <laughs> Cactus, a bit prickly, but it has a heart of gold. While equipped, plus 2% to travel. Sale, chance. Plant, standing, and small. Close the newspaper by toggling it off in the item bar. But I want to keep shopping. I want to keep... Oh, fine. Let's give this lonely cactus a new home. All right. This is your item bar. From here, you can open up the newspaper and customize your bookshop, amongst other things. Oh, okay, so you can customize the, the shop. It's not just buying and not just buying and selling. This is your inventory. Uh, click and drag an item to place in your bookshop. All right. Now drop the item into one of the highlighted slots. Oh, I guess you can't like really go into it, but it looks like you can just kind of do some things, maybe. I don't know. Nice, you got a boost. Some items can increase your sale chance for a certain genre or change the, change the effectiveness, eff effectiveness of other items. Watch out though, sometimes this comes at expense of other genre. Equipping some items will also increase your daily expenses. So keep that in mind. Daily. Oh, so like if it's got like upkeep or something, that would cost like a daily price. Uh, hover over an item to check out what it does. To remove items, simply right click. Right click or left click? Yeah, oh, okay, there we go. You can decorate inside or outside your shop, just click here. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what I was kind of looking for, yeah. Let's place something inside. Okay. Um, well, this. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. I can put it on the floor. I have one bookshelf. I need more bookshelf than that. Click here to start painting your bookshop. <gasps> yes. These are the paints. Click and drag a paint bucket. Oh, but I kind of like green. Should we go with, like, purple? I like this big purple. Now, drop the bucket onto what you want to paint. Oh, wait. Oh, so the... What about the outside? I don't want to paint the outside. Well, hold on. Maybe... Is there, like, a darker green? Hmm. What could we... How about, uh, was there a gray? Yeah, let's just do gray for now. Once you're satisfied with the inner interior decorator, wait, once, once have satisfied your inner interior, once, missing a, missing a U in there, once you have satisfied your in, inner interior decorator, click here to save and return. Book sign, ooh, a sign that says books. <laughs> well equipped plus 50% to Hanging effect. So, like, if there's a hanging basket or something, hanging. Ooh, got a folding table. Why not show off some of your beloved items here? While well, equipped plus one. Ooh, see, there's that expense. Um, it's huge, standing, and but it's paintable. Ooh, guest book. Oh, people left some sweet messages in here. While well, equipped plus three to customer count. Okay, so is that? Oh, I, oh, items we do have. So we can. Oh, we can like put it out here. That's kind of cool. Like that. Let's put that there. Books. Where can we hang? Oh, I like this. I like it. I like it. Let's put it right there. And a guest book. Oh, I wonder. Can we put it up on top of there? Can I like? Um. Oh, here we go. How big is that? I can't like turn it around. Like uh. Okay. Let's put it. Oop. I'm gonna put it right there. I can't, um, rotate it, I don't think. That's fine. That's fine, you guys. Okay. Um, I'll say, okay, so click here, click here. Okay. 
So this is like inside outside. Now it doesn't seem to cost money to paint that I can see. Um, oh, I can paint the table. <laughs> um, red table? Mm, mint? Minty? Minty ceramic? No. <laughs> there we go. But we can't seem to paint unless... Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's kind of neat. I like that. Okay, so let's... I wanted to paint, like... I want it to be purple. And lighter purple. And then... I'll leave that gray. So then we can paint that. I don't know. I kind of I kinda like it green. Green and purple. Ooh, what if we do the roof like a green... Ah. Hey. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Daily expense is one dollar. Okay. I think that's it. Welcome to Bookstoneberry. Each day you can pick a location to visit on the map. Well, that's cool. Going to a location has a travel cost. Alright. Which is based on your daily expenses as well as parking fees for the location. <laughs> You'll unlock more locations as you go. For now, let's pick the waterfront square again. I want to come back. Can I come back here? I want to buy some more books. Alright, good deal. I'm liking that. But we've got... Do we want to like spend a cooler? Perfect for the beach. That's kind of pricey, but... No, do I want to get some fantasy? How much fantasy do I have? Crime, fan oh, I got 12 fantasy. I think we're good there. I think we're good for what we've bought so far. Alright. Now, what is this one? Filled with articles, events, and items. Well, I wonder what this one here is. It doesn't say. It's gonna bug me what that one is. Unless it's like, oh, there's a, still a new item here. <laughs> I don't know. And then this is customized. Wait, what have a boost? Wait, why is travel plus two? Oh, it's the cactus. It's like, oh wait, oh I forgot we can like, we could paint the bookshelf. Can I move the bookshelf? Oh, I can. I can't move it to like on the ground at all? No, I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Um, could paint the bookshelf. What color did I have this, the roof? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Daily experiences. Okay, so we're going to the waterfront square. Two dollars. Okay, in storage. Oh, nice. Okay. These are the books in your storage. Select a genre by clicking it to start stocking your shelves. Crime. They did seem like... Click to place the selected genre into your bookshelf. Click and drag to place multiple books. Oh, nice. The book is now in your shop. Stocking more books of a genre, 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 increases the odds of people finding a book they will like within that genre. Check the sale chance by hovering over the book on the right. 29% chance. You can remove books with the right mouse button. Okay. Let's flip the shelves. No need to leave any empty spaces. Sounds good. Let's... Okay, so we got crime, so we can... Fill that up. So there's a 40% chance. I like that. Let's see. What do we got here? Travel. How we got travel? 25. 37. Put another one there. Kids. Where are we at with kids? 46. That's pretty good. Could put another one in there. Why not? Drama. Drama's at 29. Could put a couple more there. Uh, fantasy. 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 Third. Ooh, fantasy's at 35. Classics. I have zero classics. Let's fix that. There we go. And these great facts. Where are we at on facts? 23%. Alright, so let's um boop. Boop. Alright. Boop boop. Well, trying to trying to organize my stuff here. 
Um, let's see, we got five of that, five of that, eight of that, four of that, 35, 35, 40, 40. That's pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good numbers there. Where are we at? Who's the least? So I'd say classics and fantasy. Classics and fantasy. So let's put one there. And fantasy is in the purple. It's right there. Um. And then there we go. Your shelves are ready. Let's go set up shop. Or keep adjusting your sections. See, I wish I could just kind of. There's a way to like just shuffle around a little better, but um, because I could just do that and then put two there, go back to my crime. 40, 40, 40, 43, 43, 49, 42. I like it. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's rock these books. <laughs> Waterfront Square, Tuesday, Summer 2. Summer the 2nd. I hope you guys enjoy. Wait, no, that's how the other guy talks. Oh yeah, the main character is just me. It's just me. It's just me talking. Um, I hope you all enjoy my new paint job. <laughs> did you notice you can look around location, click and drag to move? Oh, oh, I did. Oh, I, oh, I absolutely did. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. How you doing? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Who wants to chew on some books? You can interact with things by clicking on them. Let's pick up this buoy. What? Oh, did we just steal that from the beach house? <laughs> buoy. <laughs> buoy, oh buoy. While equipped, plus two to travel sales chance. A buoy, oh buoy. <laughs> Alright, that's nothing else to steal. Like, you know, steal a surfboard and st steal, a, steal a seagull. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's open her up for the day. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my store. Please spend all of your moolah in my little bookstore. Now, fun fact, uh, when I was in grade school, I went to a one-room school out in the country. One room. Like, literally, one big room. We all sat in one big room. And I think it was not every Tuesday, but, like, maybe once a month on a Tuesday. I think it was a Tuesday. Maybe it was a Friday. This big truck would come, and you could walk in it and just pick out books to read for the time being and then it would drive off into the sunset and come back later and you'd exchange the books it was called the bookmobile i don't know if you guys had that um uh, where you were but uh my memories of that big blue truck <laughs> it was like those those big trucks the like bread trucks um the deliver bread it was like one of the not as big as that but a little, a little bit smaller um, think of it like a U-Haul. It's kind of like a U-Haul, but just a little more compact. Um, ah, there you are. I wanted to commend you on how much you've been livening up the place. I'm sure you want to branch out to other places in town now. My friend Mary owns a very successful cafe in town center. If I call her up and get her to give you a parking space, you could get quite a few visitors. But I want to stay here. But I want to stay here. What if I click on that? This should be like, I don't know. She's like, huh, Huffy, <laughs> gonna run you out of this town. <laughs> Good call. Yes, I know, dear. You can always trust me on these sorts of things. It's decided then. Meet me out by the Cafe Liberté as soon as you can. Cafe Liberté. Visit the lively spot in the town centre. At the Cafe Liberté in the town centre. <laughs> Go to the cafe and speak to Tilde. Challenge unlocked. Meet Tilde at the cafe. Tilde asks you to meet her at the cafe in town. Seems like she won't accept no for an answer. If I had said I want to stay here, she probably would have been pulling out a knife. I mean, like, be a shame if something happened to your tires. <laughs> oh, and while we're on the topic of showing your face, I heard our dear Walter has quite impressed was quite impressed with your wagon. He's one of the local fishers. Why don't you go over there and introduce yourself? He should be back from his recent catch just now. I'm sure he didn't see me stealing that buoy. <laughs> Ahoy, matey. Introduce yourself to Walt the Sailor. He's usually talking to his seagull friend at the waterfront. 
You might want to write this down, love. Uh, having an organized diary will come in handy in our business. Ah. You know what? I still have quite a few unsold journals left over from my old shop. Ah. So here you go. Why don't you take this one? <laughs> Got a journal. For all your planning needs. Thanks, Tilde. There you go. Hope you make good use of it. Goodbye. You got the journal. Open it anytime to check on your progress. Just click on the journal. Here you can track the genres you have sold the most of. Useful for adjusting your selection. This is the total number of books you sold here. Let's see if you can beat Tilde's record. Check back here for hints and events as you discover more. Looks like this page holds little postage stamps to mark your moments in Buxtonbury. You'll collect these stamps as you are making contributions around town. You can also see your progress towards the stamps as well as hints and extra info. Hover over the stamp for more information. Introduce yourself to Walt the Sailor. He's usually talking to a seagull friend at the waterfront. Click on the arrow to the corner to flip to another page. Oh, so this is giving me information on the area here. It's quiet. A little too quiet. Cafe Liberté! Cozy establishment overlooking the historical town square. Owned by Tilde's friend. New. No. Go to the cafe and speak to Tilde. Tilde asks to meet her at the cafe in town. She seems like she won't say no for an answer. And there's nothing there. Okay. And I guess that's... I guess that's that. Okay. Now that sounds like a two... I wonder if that's just a number. Like, if I hit two... Ah! Nice! Okay, so those are numbered, so I can just hit one and it'll open up. That's pretty cool. You can also buy books and items while out and about. Oh, nice! But they will be put into your storage, okay. Where you can access them on the next day. Cool. Alright. Shakespeare, so great. Anything else I can... Oh, there he is. Can I talk to him? Oh, hey, I can! Just click on him. <laughs> Oh, hey there, kiddo. How is this going? <laughs> Stamp collected. Oh, hey, matey. Introduce yourself to Walt the Sailor. You made the acquaintance of Walt the Sailor. Looks like you got to yourself a sturdy vessel there. I've got some old items lying around, which I thought you might like. You might. I like it. See if any of it is to your liking. I love it. I start talking, making him sound like a pirate, and he does like talk like that. Oh, my gosh. Raw fish? I don't know. Freshly bought from fish. Freshly bought fish from Buxton Bay. A life buoy for all your maritime needs. And a square buoy. Don't be square. Now, if I hover over and hold, does it tell me? Okay, so now here's where I kind of wish it would tell me, like, if there's any perks to this or not. <laughs> That's it. Um. I wouldn't mind a life buoy. See, now I've clicked on it, I've already paid for it, and now it's telling me the perk. So I don't know if that was by design, but I would like to see like what I'm buying before I buy it. Um, life buoy. I guess that kind of would eliminate the mystery, I guess. Taking a chance. Taking a gamble. <laughs> uh, life buoy. A literal lifesaver. While equipped plus one to travel sale chance maritime wall all right don't want to spend too much so the raw fish i don't know what the raw fish that's it my friends tell me you've got some decent cargo on board too they've been specially enjoying your travel in classic napas guess i have to be careful or am i to be out selling you or be out sold by you <laughs> wait is everybody a bookseller here why don't we make a bet if you can make 20 sales to me buddies, I'll admit defeat. Sell 20 books to the local sailors. Oh, the local sailors. Introduce the locals to your literary selection. Sell 20 books to the sailors. Oh, oh I'm looking forward to a little competition, kiddo. Good luck. Oh, how about this guy? Can I talk to this guy? So long. See ya, fella. Wait, why is there a fish here? Show off. Oh, show off your catch. Okay. Oh, fern. Uh, hey, uh, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? <laughs> a weather correspondent at the paper said that today will be the hottest day of the year. So I assumed you'd be at the beach, uh, like everyone else is. Oh. I'm so sorry. I've already forgotten that you're new. You just seem to fit in so easily. Ah, oh, so, so sorry. <laughs> Ahem, sorry. Here, I'll show you how to get to Fire Beach, in case you want to drop by there soon. 
Barbie. Oh, new location. This spot is a popular destination for families in the summertime. Visit the beach three times. Challenge unlocked. Oh, totally gonna make that. I'm not really a beach person myself, but I'm sure the crowd... <laughs> I'm getting crazy with the voice. But I'm sure the crowd there will need some of your reading material. <laughs> Where's the puppy? Puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. We making some moolah? Are we making some... Burp, 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 burp. Making that moolah. It'd be nice if there... Let's see. I can see... Maybe I can see, like, the sun going down? Maybe not. Is the sun going down? Um... Sunny, it's just a nice day. Okay, I can see it's starting to get, like, evening time. I guess I wouldn't necessarily want to see like a clock like ticking down like like open time to you know closing time but why can't I just stay open at night I want to I just want I just want to see it at night all the lights on and stuff oh I do love the little octagon the wait that's not octagon one two three four that's a is that a hexagon six sides anyway um, <laughs> I don't remember my schooling. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see this at night really quick. It's kind of cool. I like that. I like it. All right, let's close up shop. And I think tomorrow we're going to head to, uh, the, the, the old town square. Um, <laughs> looks like some items have been discontinued a little. Oh, discounted, not discontinued. Um, now might be a good time to buy them. Although, you could wait longer and risk someone else buying them first. Oh. It seems the seasonal section, um, items in the seasonal section have much slower turnover, so there's no need to hurry. Okay. Be sure to snatch them up before the season ends. Gotcha. I'm going to say where, um, the season would be. We talk about the seasons. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't click on this. Oh, I stole it. I forgot I stole. I forgot I stole it. I forgot I stole it. Um, I don't know if I want to put that on inside or outside. Cause I, when you're when you're selling the books, you don't really see anything. So, um, let's let's put this let's put this there. I like that. And this little guy can go over here. Maybe put that there. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, so we can go to Cafe Liberté. Oh, we can click and drag around here. Well, there's a little farm area, like a big corporate building. Uh, Borough Hills. Buxton proper. Buxton Bay. Uh, Rye. Oh, there's a little monument to probably the town founder. Town founder? Yeah, that's right. It sounded, it sounded weird when I said it. Town Founder. And then uh, Far Beach. So, we've been there. We've been there. Now today, does it say where the weather... Oh! Down in the lower right, I like I can see the... Um, the the book. The, the little bookstore. The book... What is it? A trailer? Book trailer. It's a trailer. Yeah, it's a trailer. <laughs> the book trailer on that little hill there. That's kind of cool. Um, we should probably buy some more books because they were like hey get these before <gasps> they're discounted oh books of fun facts yes do it oh it's just all facts it's 25 books of facts okay that's what we bought um english reading material this cooler i wish i could see like what this cooler would be for we don't have enough money for it anyway um man if we do this I kind of want to get some more English reading material. Best of the best. Mysterious addict find attic find. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, got a f yeah, got a few more. Like it. Okay, all right, good there. Um, man, I don't know. Should I buy? Only leaves me with seven. Only leaves me with seven dollars. Um, and it takes nine to get here. <laughs> So, we're going here. Alright. So we're pretty stacked up. 28%, 49, 35, 43. 
Uh, let's get some fun facts in, up in here. I keep everything about 40, I guess. Um, travel. Let's get some more travel in there. Travel's at 45, 49, 35. Okay, uh, more classics. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, just making sure we have a little of everything in there. Cafe Liberté in the town Centre. Wednesday, Day, summer the third day. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just being ridiculous. All right, let's check this out. Anything we can steal? I want to steal stuff. <laughs> I want to steal more stuff. Oh, there's no... There's no puppy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What this? Oh, we can just make a spin. Okay. So... Let's just do the thing and open up shop. Sam collected meet Tilde at the cafe, go to the cafe and speak to Tilde. You rolled up to the cafe as Tilde requested. Darn tootin'. Toot toot tootin'. Book handle and and antic varial? I have no idea what this is. Is that Tilde? Oh, Tilde. There she is. Hello, Tilde. Hmm. Hmm. There you are. It seems like Miriam has her hands full with the cafe again, but she told me to give you her best. Now, I have something you might help me with. Hmm. I've been cleaning out some of my old shop for months now, selling small pieces on the flea market. Hmm. This Saturday, I'm trying to move the more bulky items to the market. Hmm. Help an old bookseller out, will you? They'd fit well into that little wagon of yours. Hmm. Little wagon. <laughs> Just pick them up and bring them with you to the market on Saturday. I'll owe you, and I'll make sure there will be loads and loads of customers in it for you. Alright. Pick up all five Tilde's items at the cafe. Move it, move it. Check up by Tilde's old bookshop and pick up all of her moving boxes. Oh. Oh. What about the chair? <laughs> Sometimes people will ask for help if they can't find what they're looking for. <gasps> oh! Click the bubble to help them. They won't wait forever. Okay. Listen closely to people's requests and try to pick up on what kind of book they are looking for. Hello, dear. Um, well, who's talking? I don't think it's Tilde. Hello, dear. Um, what have you got today? Maybe it is Tilde. Hello, dear. What have you got today? I'd love to read something classic. I don't mind a dry book, and I can always go for a classic who done it. So maybe like a mystery. Okay, so um okay. People also leave a lot of their likes and dislikes unsaid, so make sure to put yourself in their shoes. She definitely wants a mystery. Maybe a classic mystery. Now let's look for a book that might uh pique their interest. Click to inspect a book. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Here you can see important info about the book, including a short description. Do you think this one is a good match? Um, no. Once you found a good match, try recommending it to them. Okay. So she wants a mist... Oh, these, these are classics. Um, I've got today. I'd love to read something classic. So these are my classics, right? Yes. And a, and a whodunit. The heartwarming story of little Heidi, who lives with her grandfather in the Swiss Alps, changing the lives of those around her for the better. A classic for children all around the world. Now, I do love that these are actual books and not just, like, made-up stuff. It's kind of cool. Legendary Greek epos about the perilous journey home. With many mythical roadblocks along the way, good thing our protagonist is smart as a whip and nobody is able to stop him. This Danish prince suddenly has a lot going on. His father is dead, his uncle is evil, and his mother quickly getting remarried. So it is entirely understandable that Hamlet now plunges into a crisis and some desperation monologue, too. Fall of the House of Usher. American Gothic at its finest. Much like the protagonist, you will never be quite the same after diving into these deliciously dark stories. I don't know if you like that or not. Animal Farm? Hmm. But then Mystery... Where's the mystery at? 
crime. Crime is kind of like a whodunit, but she says she wants something classic. Love to read something classic. Don't mind a dry book, and I can always go for a classic whodunit. So maybe... Wait. Didn't... Okay, so the fall... Ooh. So you've got the fall of how... I guess... Okay, that kind of makes sense. That you could have the same book in two different genres. Because it's a classic, but it's also... I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. So let's see what we got here. Psychics, uh, St. Buxton, the myth of the legend, the truth, the most brilliant writer and philosopher of... Oh, these are facts. Oh, she doesn't want facts. She wants classic, but like maybe a crime. The Big Sleep, the most uh, heteronormatively -norm masculine, hard-boiled, noir detective story you'll ever read in which... P.I. Philip Marlowe uncovers a criminal plot and seduces damsels left and right. Is to die first to die. This thriller book is the Women's Murder Club series. Um, study in Scarlet the Strange. That's a classic though, and kind of like a whodunit. Um, not everything is as it seems. Let's try this. Maybe. It's a classic. It's not a whodunit, though. Uh, begins investigating these. Okay, let's let's just let's just try it. Let's just try it. Hmm, I've been meaning to read the strange case of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Oh. Hey, all right. I think we did it. Looks like there could have been. It looks like there could have been a better fit. But they'll try this one and keep shopping anyways. Oh, so I guess we didn't do too good. Okay, so we'll try to do better next time. Sorry. I'm trying. He's... Stamp collected. Move it, move it. Pick up all five Tilday's items. Okay, yeah, I did. I was trying to do that to begin with. Tilday stuff. Tilday asked you to kindly deliver the mysterious boxes to the flea market. Wonder what's inside. While equipped, you are encumbered. Oh. Um, have Tilday stuff equipped when you visit the flea market. Uh, bring Tilday stuff with you. Okay. I'm encumbered. What does that mean? Wow, this stuff is bulky. You won't be able to carry much else. While active, plus seven daily. Ah! What am I supposed to do? We didn't. We we, we kind of didn't do good with the suggestion. We uh we kind of failed there. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I guess maybe stick with the classic. Oh, here we here, maybe we can redeem ourselves here. Okay. Ow, my back. I'm really into true crime. I love crime novels, and also I'm looking for a piece of real literature. Okay. That's real literature, maybe. First to Die. This thrilling first book in the Women's Murder Club series takes four crime solving friends through a classic murder mystery. Will they make it through the twist this case has in store for them? The Big Sleep. The most. Okay, uh, but hard Okay, so that's like a private eye. Um, oh my back. I love crime novels and also looking for a piece of real literature. Um, 1997, 1939. Let's go with this one because it's older. Yes? Uh, why not? You can't go wrong with the classic, with the classic like The Big Sleep. Did it doesn't say like if that was good or not. But I think, like, you seem to be good with it. You seem to be good with it. I need your help. Yes, this is kind of cool. I like helping people. I finally have time to read. I love dramatic books and I'm looking for a piece of real literature. Dramatic. Drama, huh? Okay, not that. Not travel. Not kids. Crime. Not fantasy. Oh, drama. I don't have time to read. I love dramatic books and I'm looking for a piece of real literature. Let's see. Again, find something old, maybe. 18... 1597? What is this one? Romeo and Juliet. I don't have time. It's... Let's see. Okay, how many pages? 170... 320... 407. Ah. If not, winter fragments. Let's see. 2015... Uh, 
Maybe looking for a piece of real literature. I guess Romeo and Juliet? Or Maria Stewart. Martha Stewart. 188 pages. Tudor tale of power, betrayal, and queens. Witness and captivating drama and heart-wrenching decisions of Regal Mary. Um, and this love letter to Shakespearean plays by a legendary German playwright. Um, let's try this one. Great, you must have just found... Yes! Nailed it! You might have just found someone's favorite book. Haha, <laughs> now we know when we really hit the nail on the head there. Sweet. They'll buy this one and keep shopping. Hmm. Nailed it. I'll happily read more. Yes, do that. I like this. Every once in a while something pops up. Hey, can you help me find something? Then we have to, like, do our own little detective work trying to figure out what kind of Everybody's going home. No, come back. Buy more books. <laughs> Buy more books. Alright. And done for the day. Thank you for playing that. Oh, I wanted to play more. I want to do more. Thank you for playing our demo. We hope you enjoyed your stay in Bookstonberry. You can support us by wishlisting on Steam, already done, and joining our Discord see you there that was that was fun i really like that a lot that was oh i just love point and click and then it's just the way i say adorable it's it's adorable <laughs> awesome job everyone you made me want to play more you only gave me two two days two days to sell books like I, I gotta get i gotta get um i forgot her name already <laughs> i gotta get till days uh, stuff and go and take it somewhere and sell it. I mean, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> what am I gonna do now? Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Can we like still... Can we still do stuff? It looks like we can still do stuff. Oh, maybe we can still like... Ooh, maybe we can still do stuff. I like this. Okay. Alright. Um... We have a little bit of moolah. Let's um... Pick up this. Ooh, 15 facts. 15 facts. And... Uh, let me see... Wait, what do we have here? Oh, all of Tilde's stuff. Tilde's stuff. I should kind of deliver these mysterious boxes to the flea market to wonder what's inside. Um... I don't... didn't think I had anything else. Nope, I don't have anything else. Nope, nothing I can put anywhere. Okay. Thank you for playing our demo. Oh, I can't. I can't go anymore? No. No, you're killing me. I want to keep playing. I want to keep playing. I'm just going to buy books. I got no money, so I'm just going to buy books. My journal. My journal's empty. Oh, here we go. I guess we'll sell books. I got to sell books to the... To the sailors. I got stuff to do. You can't. You can't stop me. You can't. No. That was pretty addicting. That was pretty good, though. Ah, uh, shoot skis. All right. Well, I love it. Oh, it even shows Tilda's like stuff down there. Oh my gosh. I want to keep playing, you guys. I want to do this again. And then instead of going downtown, maybe go to the beach or something if I can. No. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more fun indie games. Um, Pixel games mostly, but there's been a lot of really cool, cozy games that have come out that I'm trying to get through some demos. Um, you know, just, just mixing it up a little bit. Keeping you guys on your toes. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> oh man, I want to keep, keep playing.